Hey beautiful people, it's Jasmine. Welcome to my channel where I help you find balance, be intentional, and thrive. So I read an article earlier this week that talked about people who are hard on themselves. And these are people who generally beat themselves up over a mistake, criticize themselves after have corrected a mistake, people who tend to overanalyze or overthink situations, puts everything else as a priority before their own self-care, just to name a few. And I'll be honest with you, I can be one of those people at times. If you're anything like me where you have big dreams and a lot of goals and you always go the extra mile to accomplish it, you can deplete yourself. And there may be some negative consequences that you may experience as a result. Going the extra mile is admirable, but always going to the very last inch of every single mile, it, it can be exhausting and it can get very unhealthy. Sometimes all we need is a little self-realization or that little nudge, you know, just to help us to start thinking about things in a little bit more positive way. So for those of you who sees themselves as someone who is hard on yourself, I want to pose a few statements or questions that many of us have felt or have vocalized at some point. And again, I include myself because I have moments too. I want to share four examples of how you can turn that hard on yourself mindset into a more productive and positive outlook. Instead of saying, I'm so behind, whether it's behind in work or that Saturday to-do list or your dreams or visions or whatever it is that you're behind on, maybe try asking yourself, what progress can I celebrate today? Because remember, small wins matter too and you wanna celebrate along the way because if you don't, you'll get burnt out or you'll wanna give up. Remember, it's a marathon not a sprint. Instead of saying, I shouldn't feel this way, whether you feel good about how you're feeling or bad about how you're feeling, maybe instead try saying, it is safe to feel my feelings. And if you feel like how you're feeling or how you're thinking is not good or healthy for you, then acknowledge it and acknowledge the space that you're in, accept it and move on. Just don't stay there. Right? So if you have to read positive affirmations or you have to get a close friend on the phone for encouragement or for my fellow believers, if you have to pick up the Bible and read your word to pull yourself out of that rut, then do it. Instead of saying, ugh, why can't I figure this out? Whether you think you're not smart enough, good enough, skilled enough, knowledge knowledgeable enough, strong enough, or whatever enough is, Maybe try asking yourself instead, what is this here to teach me? Remember, we learn the most from our failures than we do our successes. And the good news is that you can start today with taking small, actionable steps to becoming wiser or stronger or more knowledgeable or more skilled, whatever it is that you, you're seeking more of. Instead of saying, life is such a battle, you know, where you're looking at things like there's always these big giants in front of you, like this big problem or this big situation and you feel so small in the middle of it. Maybe try asking yourself, can I approach life as an adventure? Listen, life, it has its ups, its downs. Life can be very hard at times, but there's also a lot of beautiful moments along the way too. And so you want to focus yourself on the good versus the bad and try to be a little bit more grateful and find gratitude every day. That helps in, a, in such, it's something so small, but it helps in such a big way. Life is what we make it by our actions, by our decisions, by our behaviors. And so we can literally create the life that we want by just starting to think more positive each day and by just practicing more gratitude. There's power in your thoughts, folks. If you think you're defeated, then guess what? You don't even give yourself a fighting chance to gain victory. Stop being hard on yourself, okay? And I have to say that to myself too. Stay encouraged, think positive, focus on the things that are good in your life right now. Remember, it's about progress, not perfection. There is no perfect human being out here, okay? Other than Jesus who walked the earth thousands of years ago, nobody is perfect. You got this. Well, I hope this helped you in some small way. Don't forget to hit that like button, 
subscribe, leave a comment. I'd love to hear your feedback if you wanna see more topics like this or if there's something that you would like me to cover, let me hear it. All right, y'all be blessed. Peace.